Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech Guru. Fan friends, I'm back with another video on which phone is the best phone to buy under 30,000 range in the Flipkart Big Billion Day Sale. This video is only dedicated for the Flipkart Big Billion Day Sale mobile phones only. I did not include any kind of Amazon sale. So make sure to stay tuned for Amazon sale. Definitely I'll try to do the video tomorrow. But in this video, I'm going to tell you which phone is the best option to buy in each and every category. Yes, in each and every category, friends, I'll try to declare the winner. I do have a lo lot of phones with me which are below 30,000 range and few phones which I don't have also, which I can definitely recommend those phones as an alternative for you. So these are the categories which I'll try to declare the performance, which each phone is best for the performance and display, camera, battery charging, connectivity, build quality, all these aspects I like to cover in this video. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the first category which is the performance. So in terms of the performance, we do have two different processors which is a Snapdragon processor and the Dimensity processor. In the Snapdragon processor, there are four different processors you can actually find in this kind of budget range which is Snapdragon 778G, Snapdragon 860, 865 and 870. These are the four different processors we do see mostly between this 30,000 range. So out of this four processor, which as, which is really powerful. So Snapdragon 870 is powerful and Snapdragon 865 is also two processors are really powerful enough. And right now we do have the one option which is really good, which is the ML Linux device. Right now the price of the ML Linux is about close to 24,000 rupees. If you want the best processor, in terms of the best processor in the Snapdragon, I'm trying to declare the winner which is MI Linux device, which has got the Snapdragon 870 chipset. In the flip card, you can get it for about 24,294. And if you use any kind of bank discount cards or anything, you can get even further discount on the MI Linux device. So keep an eye on this one during the flip card big billion day sale. That's what I'm going to say. And next phone with the Snapdragon 865, Till now we don't have any phone, I mean maybe during the sale we may get the Realme X50 Pro and other devices. So those phones which got already released previous year, so you need to think about updates as well. So in terms of the updates, this MA Linux is quite better in terms of the updates. So next is Snapdragon 860, which is the Poco X3 Pro. If you don't have the budget, if in case if you don't have the budget to spend up to 20, about 20,000, then you can prefer the Poco X3 Pro which is available for about 16 triple nine rupees only. This is the one lowest price powerful gaming phone you can actually get, which is a Poco X3 Pro device. In terms of the benchmarks, 5 lakhs 80,000. In terms of the benchmarks in the ML Linux device, 6 lakhs 90 and 80,000. These are the things about the Snapdragon processors which you can actually look after buying in case if you want the powerful processors. These two options you do have. So next is regarding the Dimensity process. In the Dimensity process, we do have a couple of three advanced, three different different processes. Dimensity 900, 1000 plus and 1200. So Dimensity 900 is recently launched by the, I think, Oppo Reno 6. We do have the Dimensity 900. So that's one option. But Dimensity 1200, which is present in the Realme X7 Max device, this is another best value for money phone in, if you're looking to buy the Dimensity processor. So this is the best phone which you can actually get right now. So maybe during the Flipkart big billion days, I'm not sure exactly what will be the price, but in the previous sale, the phone got price up to close to 20, 21,000 rupees only. For that price, it's 100% worth it to buy. Hopefully, if they bring back that kind of price, that will be a fantastic deal to keep an eye on the Realme Exxon Max device in terms of the processor dimensity. So don't get me wrong friends, even the 778G is also really good. But if you have the option to buy the Snapdragon 870 and 865, why to buy the 778G? That's what my point is. If you're looking into the performance segment only, that's another thing you should definitely understand. Now let's move to the next topic, which is a display. So in terms of the display, what are the things you should look after? So you need high refresh rate, high touch sampling rate and very good 10 bit AMOLED panel which is going on a trend right now which is happening. So these three things should be clearly highlight points in the display segment. So which phone out of this all phones which has got high standards in everything. So which is uh, I think Moto H20 which has got the 144 hertz refresh rate and 10 bit color panel and with 6.7 inches screen size and 576 hertz of touch sampling rate. But by default, we do get a little bit kind of less touch sampling rate. That's another option you're having. But overall, if you want higher touch sampling rate, a higher refresh rate, 144 hertz, this is the only option you're having below 30K. That's the uh, Moto H20 device, which you do have right now. So this is one option you can have friends. And in case if you want another phone, which is another option which you do have is the Poco F3 GT, 
which also have the 480 hertz touch sampling rate 480 we do get the default also 480 hertz touch sampling rate no problem and 10 bit amoled panel and very slim bezels you do have in this in the poco f3 gt this is another option which you can actually look after to buy and in case if you don't want big screens okay i don't want this much of big screens I, because my hands are really small so i want very compact then the realme x1 max is a one option which you do have right now that's only one option because 120 hertz refresh rate and uh, 240 hertz start sampling rate we are getting by default and if you include the refresh rate then 360 hertz and super amoled panel in the realme x1 max too if you want the compact size compact that's what i'm trying to talk about so, so these are the characteristics of the display segment these are the winners which i can definitely declare and remaining about the mi linux also has got a really good display but few of the users they're actually facing the green tint issue and black crush issue mostly in the mi linux users that's the thing i did not uh, recommend this phone mi linux smart not all the users i'm not saying everyone few of them and this is the thing about the display segment and one more thing i forgot to mention about the performance in the gaming which phone is solid for the gaming so for the gaming, definitely the Snapdragon process, I will prefer for the long time usage. Yes, absolutely in the Snapdragon. If I have the budget and if I am spending, I'll prefer. But even the Dimensity process are not wrong. Nothing wrong with the Dimensity 1200 at all. Even they are trying to improve because we can see the same Dimensity 1200 present in the Poco F3 GT as well. In the OnePlus Nord 2 as well. So there is a scope to get improvement and optimize. So don't worry about that optimization. And the reason why I declared the Realme X and Max in terms of the performance winner because of the value per price. If the price comes less than the Poco F3 GT, Realme X and Max will be the good option. That's the reason. And next is camera. So in terms of the camera, which phone is the best option? So to be frank, in the 30,000 range, I think we do have only one option, which is the Oppo Reno 6 device. Oppo Reno 6, yes. That's the one which has got really good camera, which I don't have, unfortunately, with me in my studio. So the phones out of this, all the phones, what am I having? Which phone will I pick for the camera segment? I would go for the Moto H20 a little bit. Yes, I did like the camera in the Moto H20, not the low light. Low light is not that great, but camera could have been slightly better. But in, when compared with the, I think Realme X and Max and the both phones will be my preference in terms of the camera, both phones, yes. So slightly, one has got one advantage and even the Moto H20 has got one advantage. So these two will be my pick for the camera segment below this 30,000 range of budget only in the Flipkart and not trying to talk about Amazon in the Amazon if you try to talk there are a lot of phones will be coming into the competition so not about the Amazon only in the Flipkart these two are slightly better in terms of the camera recording that's what I did feel not the low light not the low light low light all the phones are perfectly same nothing much uh, major thing in the in terms of the low light performance so next is you the battery backup and the charging speed so you need battery backup and you need fast charging which phone poco f3 gt which has got 5000 of mh of battery capacity and 67 watts charger which can charge in 40 minutes of time the poco f3 gt yes this is the winner in terms of the battery segment and in terms of charging speed as well that's one thing which i can definitely say that so more than other phones i mean more than 4000 mh of battery capacity this phone can get 30 to 40 minutes of extra gameplay battery runs mobile game that's what i did understand during my battery training test on this phone so next is regarding the connectivity wise which phone will i pick regarding the connectivity so connectivity wise so you need more 5g bands and you need better wi-fi connection you need 4g plus as well if you take everything into consideration i'll pick the realme x and max because realme x and max has got more 5G bands. Even the Moto H20 has got more 5G bands. Don't get me wrong. Yes, it has got more 5, 11 5G bands. But the thing is that the Wi-Fi signals are really stronger and better in the Realme X and Max. Not on the Moto H20. You can look at the Flipkart ratings as well. I did see a lot of uh, reviews saying that the Wi-Fi reception is not that great in the Moto H20. So because of that reason, you will experience the low speeds in the Moto H20 when compared with other phones. That is the same problem which I am trying to highlight here as well. So that is the reason I am not giving points for the Moto H20 at this moment. So I am giving points for the Realme X1 Max device because the Realme X1 Max can actually get the higher transmit link speed and very standard higher transmit link speed. Let me just explain you. In the 2.4 GHz, it can actually reach up to 300 Mbps as well. Even the ML Linux also can reach, but that phone doesn't have more 5G bands like the Realme X1 Max. That's the reason I did not give points. So I need to consider each and everything friends, not only one 5G, I need to consider the Wi-Fi connection, I need to consider the 4G plus, only then I'll try to declare the winner. You may think, what about the Poco F3 GT when the Poco F3 GT also got really good Wi-Fi? 
so it got good wi-fi but not as like the realme xl max i'll try to explain you the transmit link speed it's limited to only 144 mbps in the 2.4 gigahertz but in the realme xl max it, it can go up to 300 mbps as well with the 2.4 gigahertz slightly higher standards in the 2.4 gigahertz networks if you are having single band wi-fi router this will be quite helpful that's the reason I thought of uh, letting you know before you actually decide everything. So this is all one package which I did get in the connected device, the Realme Exxon Max device. More 5G bands, better 4G place I can get carrier aggregation, even other phones also can get. But combination of everything can be found in this phone and low price if the price decrease come to 20,000 rupees for the Realme Exxon Max. Next is about the build quality. So build quality, aptic feedbacks, type C, uh, 3.1 no phone doesn't have any phone doesn't have the, any kind of type c port and type c 3.1 only few phones will be having and speaker wise so aptic feedback which phone is the best in the aptic feedback aptic feedback i did like all the phones and i did like the poco f3 gts and the realme x and max and even the moto h20 also having really good aptic feedback so there's nothing much major thing about aptic feedback but in the loudspeaker so Poco F3 GT and the Realme X and Mac, these two come neck to neck in terms of the loudspeaker and slightly points for the Poco F3 GT. If you listen personally, you'll definitely understand the difference in the Poco F3 GT in terms of the volume output. Yes, little bit, little bit more, not much, little bit. So these two phones are really great, Realme X and Max and the Poco F3 GT in terms of the volume output. So next is regarding the 3.5 m jack so 3.5 m jack is another major concern in this moment so if you consider 3.5 m jack and uh, all this kind of loudspeakers and everything in display fingerprint scanner all this kind of features build quality the only phone you have is a realme x and max in this kind of price range which has got this this many uh, qualities in this phone and less weight moto h20 is also really great if you want the slim profile if you want slim profile this will be ultimate big screen with less weight perfect combination i would definitely say but this phone doesn't have 3.5 mm jack no dual speakers no in display finger scanners these are the things which are missing in this phone that's the reason i did not give points for the moto h20 and about the mi linux device there is no proximity sensor present it depends upon ultrasonic sensor and other sensors same thing for the poco f3 gt as well and i don't no need to talk about this realme x1 pro device at this moment because there's no point in buying the x1 pro if you can get the Exxon Max for less price, that's a, that's a really biggest dot few of the users are actually having. So definitely go for the Realme Exxon Max only, not for the Pro model at this price. So UI and software updates, ultimately, closing my eyes, I can definitely say that Moto H20, I'll pick 100% Moto H20, stock UI experience. If you want stock UI experience and medium to light gaming, and if you want good display, go for the Moto H20. Okay, that's the final thing. So if you want very kind of medium to heavy kind of gaming, then go for the Snapdragon process. If you're okay with the Dimensity processor, better choose the Realme X and Max because you do get the 3.5 mm jack. That is what missing in other phones, which is available in this device. That's a pretty much advantage which you are having in the Realme X and Max device. If you ask me, Snapdragon 778G or Dimensity 1200. So that will be for another video. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos. Definitely I'll try to cover in-depth comparisons. So this is a quick comparison friends out of this all the phones, which phone is the best option to buy below 30,000. If the price of the Realme X1 Max comes close to 21,000, this is the best option. Otherwise you do have the Poco X3 Pro. Next pick would be my uh, Poco X3 Pro device. And MI Linux and the Poco F3 GT, they do have advantage of uh, other if you want to inst install different different custom roms you can actually do that pretty good in the mi phones and the poco phones that's a pretty good advantage you are having in these two phones and moto h20 is for the stock ui experience if you want to experience that kind of stock ui then this is a good option that's it friends. this is a quick comparison between all of the phones and i think you got a clear idea what is going on between all of these phones and in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below this is a quick review and which phone is the best under 30k very soon i'll try to come up with another video on the amazon stay tuned for those videos meanwhile